Hey guys, it's 3 the Starlight. Welcome back to more Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we um, journeyed through this temple-like area and met with the Lady of the Forest. In this episode, we're gonna go find... What's his name? Uh, shoot, I already forgot his name. The Elf Keeper guy. Ooh, treasure pile. Arrows. Ugh. Anyway, right here is a quick b path back to the top. And once you know it, he's already here. Ah, and here you are already. Zath... Zath... Zathrian. That's his name, Zathrian. I am a keeper, with access to powers your king has long forgotten. I was never barred from this place. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Just so, did you? You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yes, I thought as much. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. But the werewolves have regained their minds. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you, the werewolves have regained their Even minds. so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? But those crimes were committed centuries ago. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. Tell me. If you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well, you wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I will, unless you attack I first. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say.
So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Blood magic. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! Just how far will you go for, for your revenge, Zathrian? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! You'll end that curse if I have to force you myself. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. And he traps those two werewolves right there. And now we must um, take down Z um, Z Zathrian. Have everyone aim for him. And it's over. No, no more. I... I cannot... cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No! Don't kill him. Please, lady, stop him! No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Is that true, or are you afraid of dying? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? 
You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you'll do it? You'll end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. So what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. Farewell. Where's Zathrian? Is his body not here? I don't see his body anywhere. Guess we can't raid him. <laughs> oh, I'm such a I'm a terrible person. Ooh, what's this? Just a dagger. I'll leave it. But anyways, let's leave this area. Head back to the Dalish camp. There's a treasure pile with the useless items, useless arrows. Let's get out of here. But I think as we um, leave, that we'll um, head through the fo forest and see if we can find the rest of those juggernaut armor pieces. Starting with the west part, but... Oh, we can't... Come on. What am I fighting now? It shall be done. It has begun. Bandits. Very well. As you say. In a trap now. Oh, 
Guess they want my uh, super cool sword. Die, bandit! Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, load, load, load. Here we go. Hmm. We're in the west. Uh, we're in the we west end. Let's see. Ancient tombstone. That's where the uh. That's where one piece is. No, not that one piece. The other one piece. That uh armor piece. Not the anime one piece. Wasn't supposed to, something supposed to happen when I disturb it? Uh. Oh, there we go. I shall do. Very well. Ow. And he's down for the count. Hmm. Is he going to give something up? Ah, oh, he is. Juggernaut Helm. I think I'll give these Juggernaut armors to, uh... I'll, I think I'll give them to Shet or no Sten. Sten, that's his name. Sten. I can never remember names. Hmm. Okay, now there are, there are two, um, th shoot, wrong button again. Okay, there are two places f where the, uh, where this, um, there are two uh, tombstones that, in the eastern part. One is in the north end near the Mad Hermit's camp. So let's search the north end. Do they see us? And we've got bears. <laughs> and it's dead. I shall do 
Ogre. Two ogres. Holy crap. Whoa. Leliana got a got a nice finisher and I just got tackled. Nice, Alistair got a finisher too. That tombstone should be somewhere in this direction. All right, no order, Jeff. I shall do it. <laughs> wow, the wild wow, bandits came here to raid the camp. Must have missed it. Ah, oh, here it is. It is begun. And it's done. <coughs> Give me the plate boots. And now for the last piece, which is... Past the magical barrier. Somewhere after our second encounter with Swiss... With... With... with Swift Runner. Okay, let's see. I wonder who put up the barrier in the first place. There it is, the gravestone. There is another set of armor that can be that um they can find um it's in the um, it's um it's called the armor of the uh, it's called the legion armor. Okay, waiting for you to give up your loot. The Legion armor is um, located in the deep roads. You won't be able to get the get to the deep roads until after you uh, until you go to Osamar. Juggernaut, Juggernaut plate gloves. Well, cl quest completed, guys. Bravo. Let's head back.
Gonna have to travel back by foot, though. Which is gonna suck. So bored. Come on, something happened already. Saving? That's a good sign. I think we're nearing the end. Oh, uh, yes. Hmm? Another great bear. I shall do it. Oh crap, two great bears. Oh, ow. That hurt. Just die, just die, just die. Okay, that should do it. Didn't expect to run into bears uh, like that. But in any case, we made it through. To the Dalish camp. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. He was a hero in the end, L Lania. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am Keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Thank you, Lenya. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war. But I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Quest complete. Now before we go, there's one last thing that we must do. You have returned. Is there any chance you have news of Denila? I do. News? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? That is her scarf. Where did you find her? What's become of her? The Keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? Oh, I see. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral. Fare you well. Poor guy.
So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Tentry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... no, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. No wonder you got sent to the kitchen so many times. Hmm. Anyways, uh, three, but four treaties down. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three treaties down. One to go. We we must now head to Osa Osamar. But I'm gonna end the episode right here, guys. All right. Gonna just gonna end it. Next time on Dragon Age Origins, we're gonna head to the city of the dwarves. And see if we can, well, see if, if there are any problems that we can settle, if there are any. And hopefully get them to honor their treaty. See you guys later. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I did not mean to sound ungrateful, it is just... Wait, these are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish, and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. <laughs>